Hey, Dr. Berlin here with McKinneyDentist.com and we've uh, learned our camera settings. I want to shoot this first shot. It's called Portrait. I'm going to be looking directly into Brittany's eyes. I want to keep parallel. So Brittany, let's take our first shot against Portrait. I want you looking straight ahead at me. I'm going to be looking right here. Okay, great. One, two, three. Click. Oh, that looks great. We're going to do one more like that. Fantastic. So Brittany, if you could just look straight ahead. Again, repose. Say M. Uh, perfect. We're going to take two. We always take two. Our last extra oral shot that we take is our profile shot. I'm just going to have you turn to the left 90 degrees, Brittany, if you don't mind. That's perfect. Again, I want to be directly parallel. I want the, the lens parallel to the floor, looking directly at her profile. One, two, three. We're going to take two. I'm zooming right on her ear. Three. Great. And those are extra oral shots. We've got our, our portrait shots done. And so we had Brittany sit down and we're going to do our intro roll shots. And we're going to do a series of intro roll shots. The first one we're going to do is just a close up smile. It's a non retractive. We don't use the retractors. And our goals are we want to frame it to where we get the corners of the mouth inside the frame, uh, center it right under Cupid's bow, right in the center of her lips. Don't necessarily center it on the the centrals because sometimes they're canted but I'll just center it right on their lips and we'll just kind of frame it under her nose above her chin and um, you'll be able to see it at what I'm looking at so let's shoot this awesome oh, fantastic okay we're gonna do our retracted teeth together and there we go can we see that in the screen now Okay, cool. And again, my goal here is to make sure we see the second molars. There we go. And Brittany, if I could get you to open about this far, a little bit more. There you go. We just want to see some space in between these teeth. And again, our goal here is to be directly in front of these teeth. I don't want to be above them or below them. Our next shot that we're going to do, this is an important shot, it's our occlusal shot. We're going to do our upper occlusal and our lower, lower occlusal. These are always use your retractors, so we have to put our retractors in. And I get the patient to help me hold the retractors in place. And we're going to use a mirror, and we're going to look at the reflection in the mirror of the occlusal arch. Our goal is we want to see all of the occlusal table. Ideally, we want to see the facial of the centrals, and we want to see all the way back to the distal of the second molars. So here we go. We, Brittany, we get those retractors in. Thank you. Very good. Steph, you can set that in there. I like having a little air here so we can keep the air. There we go. And you can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm just going to try to zoom right in here to what I can see. I'm looking for the facials of the centrals. And let's turn around and do the lowers. We're going to do the same thing basically on the lowers. Uh, we have, what we do is we use the mirror and we just turn it around because it's been has saliva on the other side So we'll put that now up and then so we're going to shoot the same thing on the lower same goals. We want to be able to see the um, Facial surface of the lower interiors and we want to see all the way back to the second molars That is perfect Brittany if you could kind of pull your retractors down a little bit like if you could yeah Instead of being at three o'clock and nine o'clock if you were at four and eight that's good right there Thank you so much. Okay, let's take a look. That looks really good. I want to get... Okay, our next shot that we're going to do is what we call our quadrant. It's a retracted quadrant shot. And we say retracted, and there's two ways to do this. You can either do it directly, where you retract the same side as you shoot, or you can retract the opposite side and put the mirror and shoot the mirror shot. We feel like the mirror shot gives it a lot better clarity and a lot more... Uh, detail, um, especially back in the second molar. So what we're going to do is simultaneously, I'm going to have Brittany hold the retractor on the right side while Stephanie holds the mirror on the left side, and we're going to get the upper left quadrant. So let's set that in there. Very good. Awesome. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. And again, I'm looking for that quadrant right there. I'm looking in the mirror shot and trying to get it yeah, that looks real good. 
Okay, let's do the other side. We do the same thing on the other side. This way you can probably see now the view. And again, she's gonna pull back on that side. I'm gonna look at the mirror image on her upper right side. Close all the way down. That's great right there. You can kind of see my view. Very good. And if you look at the clarity of that, just amazing. And guys, those are our 10 shots. I would encourage you to watch the video and you know, here are the 10 shots all together. You can kind of see, and we're in, in this position, you can show your patients and kind of co-diagnose with them and help them create the new smile. When we break them down, these are our extra oral photos, our portrait, our repose, and our profile. We zoom in on our close-up smile. Then we put the retractors in and we can get our teeth together and have them slightly open for the teeth apart. Then we do our occlusal shots. We've got our upper, our lower, great for diagnosing fillings and crowns. Uh, we do our quadrants right and left, and guys, that's it. Hey, a big, big thank you for our patient, Brittany, uh, for my assistant, Stephanie. Also, thank you to our, for our two photographers, both Paola and Ashley. And thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video.